Okay, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Welcome to your English class number six. Okay. How was your day? How was your Thursday? Was it good? So so busy? So, so. Relaxing? Very productive. Very what? Productive. Oh, okay. Didn't get it, but <laughs> it's okay. Well, guys, as as I told you, today is our class number six. And oops, uh, let me share the class presentation. Today, um, we are going to learn simple present, short answers and conversation. Can you see the screen? Yes, I see. All right, okay. What day is today? Today is Thursday. Exactly, Thursday, June. So we said goodbye to May. Goodbye, May. Welcome, June. Right? We start a new month. Okay, and that's great. Good. So this is class number six. And well, by the end of this class, you will learn how to respond to yes, no questions in the simple press. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Okay, so you will practice yes, no questions, and also there is and there are. Okay, and we have four activities, recalling previous class, simple present questions, and short answers. Activity three, there is and there are, and activity four, wrap up. Okay, those are the activities for today. And to start, guys, I need to take the attendance. So please say present or here when I mention your name, okay? Alba Jocelyn Romero. Present. Okay, thank you, Alba. Amalia Beatriz Tobar. Present. Thank you. Ana Julia Flores de Cetino. Present. Areli, sorry, Anderson Emanuel Palomo. Anderson is not present. Areli Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Present. <laughs> Briseida Yanet Garcia. Present. Eh, Briseida Yarisa Melgar Santos. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Adolfo Garcia Crespo. Present teacher. Carlos Manuel Velázquez Hernández. Carlos Manuel. Carolina Elizabeth Garcia Anaya. Carolina Elizabeth. Eh, what about Celia Yasmin Pérez de Paz? Present teacher. Selina, yes. Okay, that is Selina. Yeah. Okay. Eh, Cindy Fabiola. Present. Thank you, Cindy. Claudia Carolina Cruz. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Cristian Josué Leiva Fuentes. Present. Thank you, Cristian. Daniel Enrique. Ayala. Daniel Enrique Ayala, Daniel Quijano, Gutiérrez. Daniel Quijano. 
Edith Carolina Rivera. Ok. Daniel no tiene audio. ¿Quién, Daniel? Eduardo Enrique. Eduardo Enrique Vázquez. Elsa Noelia Portillo Chacón. Present. Thank you, Elsa Noelia. Erika Noemi Hueso. Stephanie Adai García Ángel. Evelyn Janet Rivera Magaña. Fátima Yoselin Portillo de Rodas. Gabriela Isad Guevara Paredes. Gabriela Alexandra López. Present. Gerardo Arturo Guzmán. Present. Jacqueline Beatriz Vigil Sánchez. Present. Ginny Lizer Escobar Lucero. Ginny Escobar. El José Heriberto Durán. Present teacher. Okay, we have many absences today. Okay, well guys, so did I mention everyone? There's someone that I didn't mention. Oh. Good. So let's start guys with vocabulary. Vocabulary about things in the house, okay? Objects in the house. For example, if I ask you, this is where we sleep. This is where we sleep. What is it? Bed. The bed, exactly, it's the bed. Okay, so right now I have here one game. <laughs> going to practice those things. Just give me a moment because I need to share the screen. Okay, can you see the screen? Yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. so I will ask people different numbers. And I'm going to start with Selena. Selena, give me a number, please. From one to 16. Seven. Number seven. Ah, you win 25 points. <laughs> Thank you. Brenda Dimas, give me one number. Two. Two. Can you read, please? This is where we have life. It is the part of a room. It is the top part of a room. We hang lights there. What is it? Any idea? What is it? No, no, no entiendo qué es lo que dice. Esta es una parte que del top, de la parte de un cuarto. It's the top. It means, um, okay. You uh, look above you. The light is above you. We have the lights there. And it's the top part of a room. The top. What is it, guys? Que hay arriba, arriba del cuarto. Sí, ya. <laughs> the, okay, you have the room. El cuarto. The living room, but the, on the top. What is it? Any person can help? Any idea, guys? Any idea? What is it? El techo del cuarto, no. Yeah, but in and English. Billing. 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 It's correct. Okay. Let's continue. Okay, Carlos, give us a number. 16. Oh, easy. Read, please. In the bed? <laughs> This is where we sleep. Oh, the bedroom. Parts of the room. Parts of the house. 
the bedroom. Okay. Number, Jose Heriberto. And 10. Number 10. What it says. Read, please. Um, Read another word yes. for garden. It's flower or jar. It's the jar, yes. Another word for gardening, it's often used in America. The jar, the front okay. jar or the back jar. Do you okay. have a front jar? Does your house have a front jar? Or a back jar? My house has a front jar. Okay, let's see Amalia, a number, please. Three. Three. Can you read, please? This is the room. This is the room underneath the house. It's usually underground. Yes. Any idea? This is all under the house. It's usually underground. Yes, under the house. Underground. Underground. Yes. Esa palabra no la entiendo. Under. Investment. Under. Underground. Underground. Yes. Underground. Under the house. Under the house. Under the house. I... It's the basement. The basement. basement. The basement. Yes, the basement. basement. Maybe in El Salvador we don't have basements. Not all the houses have basement. But in no. the houses. Have basement. Okay, uh, let's see. Christian, give us a number. Number four. Number four. What does it say? Can you read, please? This is the bottom part of a room, the opposite of a ceiling. Okay, so now you look down, right? You look down, <coughs> not above you, down. It's the opposite of the ceiling. No. The floor. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Okay, Mom. let's see, Gabriel, you're next. Mommy! Gabriel is that? What is 15. it? 15. 15. Mm-hmm. This is the rain of, oh. out of our home. Bye, I will have family. Bye. Sorry, I'm going to mute. <laughs> okay, this keeps the rain out of your house. What is it? This is very important of your house because if you don't have it, the rain gets in your house. Forget the name. <laughs> Somebody can help. Yes, yes, yes. But I, I forget the name. It starts with R. Sailing? The part of the house that keeps the rain out of the house. Okay. No ideas? Roof? The roof. 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 Yes, the roof. Okay. The roof. Uh, let's see, Briseida, Jarisa. What number, Briseida, Jarisa? Um, five. Number five. Five. If... Can you read, please? 
we park our cars here? Oh, <laughs> garage. The garage. That's the answer. That was very really easy. Okay, let's see who's missing. Jeannie, you said. Um, the number eight. Can you read, please? This is where we have many plants. Mm hmm. The jar. Yeah, or the garden. Uh, okay. Yes, very nice. Uh, let's see, Areli. Choose a number. Uh, nine. Number, number nine. nine. Okay. Read, please, Areli. Read. This is where we, we made Kitchen. food. Yes, where we made food. And that is the? Oh. The kitchen, the kitchen, yes, the kitchen. Okay, Gerardo Arturo. Number one. Number one. <coughs> Can you read, please? Lo lee, por favor, Gerard. We look through these to see upside. Window? The window. Uh -huh. It's correct. We look through the window to see outside. Inside, outside. Okay, Brenda Elizabeth Dimas. Number six. Six? Yes. Ah, again. You win the point. Okay, Alba Jocelyn Romero. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> the other team wins fifteen points. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Alba. Thirteen. Fourteen. 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 Okay. Can you read, please? We use. We use this. Move serious. TV. TV. The news person. Excited. Excited. It is. It is usually in the living room. Yes. What is it? So difficult. What yeah. to watch movies? Watch. Television. 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 Yes. Okay. And we have only 12 and 13. Let's see who wants to participate. Edith, Carolina, just choose the number. Twelve. Twelve. Oh, go to the last place. <laughs> okay, and the last. This is where we eat. Where we eat. Not where we make food. Where we eat. Uh, the dining room. The dining room. The dining room. Okay, so with this game, <laughs> we practice. We practice the parts of 
the parts of the house, right? It's important to continue practicing the vocabulary because if we don't practice, we forget. Okay, now guys, we are going to complete this with furniture vocabulary. Furniture are all the objects that we have in the house, in each part of the house. So we're gonna have some vocabulary. Uh, oops, this is not your class. Give me a moment. Okay, can you see the screen? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So in the bathroom, what are the things that we have in the bathroom? Objects in the bathroom? Bed. Okay. The bed. Yeah. Lamps. Mirror. Lamp. Lamp. What else? Closet. Teacher, how do you say um, mesa de noche? Table. Night table. Night table. Night table. Mm -hmm. What else? What else do you have in your bathroom? TV. Okay, nice. If you have a TV. I have a fan because when it's hot, I turn on the fan, right? The fan. Some picture. Picture. Or um, windows. Pictures, okay, windows. Good. In the living room, what do you have in the living room? In the living room. Television. <laughs> TV. Armchair. Some chair. Armchair. Armchair. Or in sofa. Coffee table. A coffee table. What else? A flower oh, vase. Yes, a flower vase. Mm. What about pictures, that? other pictures. TV stand, right? Uh, pictures. Yeah. How do you say librero, teacher? Bookcase. A bookcase. Mm -hmm. Maybe also the telephone. The telephone. Eh, okay, now think about the bathroom, guys. I think I need to help someone to connect to the group. Hi. Paper, papel. Okay, in the bathroom. Stop. Stop. Okay. What else? Shampoo. Water. <laughs> toilet. Okay, the toilet. Brush. Brush. Okay. Brush. To be more specific, a toothbrush. A toothbrush. Towel. A towel. Mm -hmm. The principal water. <laughs> you need water. <laughs> What else? The sink, hello, the sink, and the toilet paper. That is very important. Don't forget the toilet paper, Encanto, Scott, right? 
the toilet paper or the newspaper, I don't know. <laughs> okay, toilet paper, it's important. Now in the kitchen. The stove. The stove. Right? Microwave. The microwave. Table. Refrigerator. Table. Refrigerator. Table and, table and chair. Next. Table and chairs, okay. Excuse me? Nick, then Nick. Some picture to teacher. Coffee maker. Coffee maker. Coffee maker. <coughs> Coffee blender. Blender. Excuse me? Gas room. Okay, somebody wrote the scrub to wash the dishes. Oh, okay, what about the laundry room? In the laundry room. Oh, a very important thing in the laundry to wash your clothes. Clothes? Wa washing machine. The washing machine, yes. That is my best friend. <laughs> my best friend, the washing machine. Mm -hmm. What else in the laundry room? Okay, detergent. And softener. Suavite, right? The softener. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? What is this? Good. In the with the clothes, right? I don't I don't I don't, yes, the I don't and also the I don't table. Mm -hmm. Bleach. The hangers. The lanterns, hangers. Bleach, yes, maxi sol <laughs> or magia blanca, the bleach, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe the clothes, the clothes basket. The clothes yeah. basket. Okay, good. So this is furniture vocabulary, important to know. It's important to know, okay? Good. So let's continue with the next. We have a conversation between Julia and Ethan. I need two volunteers to read the, the conversation. Hi. Uh, Gabriel, okay, Gabriel, you're gonna be Ethan and I need Julia. One Julia, please. Oh. Yeah. Amalia, okay. Hey. Hey. Start, please, Amalia and Gabriel. Lights. I, I, Ethan. You are Julia. Julia. Yes. Hi, Ethan. Guess that I have a new apartment? Hey, cool. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I like me the university now. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. It has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and the kitchen. A kitchen. 
Hey, with some. Does it have an elevator? Yes, I do. And does it have a nice view? No, I don't think it has a new of another apartment building. Building. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Amalia and Gabriel. Yes. So she's talking about her new apartment. Where is her new apartment? Where is where is her new apartment? Near the university. It's near the university. Mm -hmm. And what's it like? What's it like? What's her new apartment like? It's really nice. Yes, it's really nice. It has a big really living room. Mm -hmm. Only one bedroom. Uh -huh. Does it have an elevator? Yes, I do. Yes, it does. And does it have yes, a it does. No, it does. No, it doesn't. It has a view of a another view. apartment building, and you can see here the other apartment building. That's the view. Okay, so if you notice in this conversation, we have some uh, questions, right? The first question is Do you like that downtown? Do you live, do you live downtown? Does it have an elevator? Does he have a nice view? Yes, view. Yes, view. 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 Uh -huh. A view. Beautiful view. View. If you live in Los Planes de Renderos, you can you have a beautiful view of San Salvador City. Ah, okay. View. Okay. View. Now, <clears throat> is what you can see. Okay, so over here we have some just no questions, right? To make just no questions, we need the auxiliary do for mm. the subject I, you, we, and they, the verb mm. and the complement. And the answer, yes, I do, yes, you do, yes, we do, yes, they do, or no, the subject, mm. and don't. This is just a review guide. For example, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Do the bathrooms have windows? No, they don't. That's very sad. More, I mean, they are very hot, right? Because there are no windows. And with the third person singular, we use the auxiliary. Das. 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 Or he, she, and it. That and the complement. The, the, the short answers are yes, or it does, or no, he, she, and it does. Does Elena live in an apartment? Yes, she does. Does the house have a garage? No, it doesn't. Okay. You have to park your car in on the street, right? Because the house doesn't have a garage. So this is a review for just yes, no questions and short answers. Now, guys, over here we have again more parts of the house, more objects. So please repeat after me. Armchairs. Arm chairs, stove, stores, curtains, 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 pictures, 
Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Lamps. Lamps. Sofa. Sofa. Television. Television. But now it's a smart TV, right? A smart TV. <laughs> a smart TV. Raw. 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 Mirror. 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 Chairs. Dresser. 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 Bootcase. Bookcase. 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 Now I have a question. Does your bathroom have a mirror? Does your bathroom have Does a your mirror? bathroom have a mirror? Bathroom. Julia, does your bathroom have a mirror? Yes. 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 It does. Yes. 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 Oh, good for you. Okay, I need you to make questions like that, okay? In the chat room. In the chat, you're going to make questions with, like, similar about the house and the objects in the house. For example, does your living room have pictures? Does your living room have pictures? Okay, write similar questions about the house or apartments. <clears throat> Does your house have a garden? It's a tough. Okay, make questions, please. You can make the questions. Type questions in the chat to practice the use of that. Okay, does your house have a garage? Yes, yeah, sure. does. Does your house have a refrigerator? Hola. Yes, Hola, yes, does. <laughs> does your house have some windows? Yes. Hola, teacher. Ah, oh, Daniel. Ah, eh, mi, mi, mil disculpas, hasta ahorita voy recuperando el audio y estaba intentándolo. Eh, no sé si me pasaron eh, la lista allí, pero hasta ahorita voy recuperando. Disculpas del caso. Ok, Daniel. I understand. Don't worry. Eh, let me see. I'm going to ask some, the names of some people again. Eh, for example, let me see. Eh, Anderson Emanuel. Carlos Manuel Velázquez, Carolina Elizabeth García, Daniel Enrique Ayala, Eduardo Enrique Vázquez, Erika Noemí Hueso. Presente. Estefanía Daí García Ángel. Presente. Fátima Jocelyn Rivera. No, Fátima Jocelyn Portillo, sorry. Evelyn Janet Rivera. Ginny Lizera Escobar. Present. Ok. En Daniel Quijano. Presente. Thank you. Good. So let me see the chat. I have... Eh, ok. Very good. Does your house have some window? Does your bedroom have a night table? Yes, it does. Does your living room have a rock? No, it doesn't. Does your house have a jar? Yes, it does. Does your house have a bookcase? Yes, it does. My living room has a bookcase. Does your house have a back jar? No, it doesn't. Does your house have a front jar? Yes, it does. Okay. 
Everybody, please participate in the chat. Write a question. Does your kitchen have a coffee maker? Yes, it does. Does your house have some rocks? No. Does your house have a basement? No, it doesn't. Does your house have a coffee table? No, it doesn't. Okay. Does your bedroom have a rock? No, it doesn't. Does your bedroom have lamps? Yes. My bedroom has two lamps. Does your house have a desk? Yes, it does. It is the desk that I'm using right now to teach the class. Does... Okay, Amalia, Seria, does your kitchen have a knife? Okay. Okay. Does your okay. have a knife? Does your house have a garage? Yes, it does. Very good, people. Thank you for your messages. Let's continue with the next part of the topic of this class is there is and there are. We have a conversation between Eric and Lara. I need two more participants to read this conversation. Okay, Christian. Christian and Eric Victor. Please start. Lights, camera, action. This apartment is great, Lara. Christian, go ahead. Thank you. I I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, lots of things. For example, there are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. That, that's true. And there's no sofa in the living room. And there aren't any armchair. And there isn't a room. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Thank you, Christian and Heriberto. Excellent. So uh, she needs some furniture, right? For example, what is missing in the kitchen? Some chairs. There are some chairs, but there are some chairs. There is an but, but there isn't a table. Okay, there are the chairs, but not the table. So she doesn't have a place where to eat, right? Or where to put her things. So it's missing a table. Uh, what about the living room? Is missing a sofa? Yes, it's missing a sofa. There's no sofa. There aren't any armchairs. There isn't a there is lamp. There's this is lamp. There's only a lamp. Only a lamp. There's only a lamp. Only. Only. Yeah. Ah. She's, she's going to sit on the floor, right? She's going to sit on the floor. Okay, so there is, we use this expression to say what exists in a place. There is, and we use a or an, and then mm -hmm. we mention the object. Okay, when? Do I use an? When do I use an? We, I think we use an between two words. One final, uh, how do you say vocal? Vowel. Vowel. vowel and the other the words um, start in vowel too. Okay, thank you, thank you, Carlos. Yeah, we use an before a word that starts in a vowel sound. For example, there's an umbrella in the room, in the bedroom. There's an umbrella in the bedroom. 
So it starts with a vowel sound. So I will use an, okay? Just when the next word starts with a vowel sound. If not, we use A or A. Ah. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's a lamp on the night table. There's a TV in the living room. There is no picture on the wall. Now, this is singulars. How many beds? How many beds? One bed. One, one bed, one lamp, one TV, one umbrella, one picture. One singular. But we have the plural form, and the plural form is? There are. There are. And we can use the expressions some. There are some people, there are some students, there are some pictures, there are some chairs. Or we can use no to say there aren't, right? There are no people in this class. There are no chairs in the kitchen. There are no lamps in the garden. Or we can say a number. A specific huh? number. There are five pupusas in the refrigerator. There are 20 people in this class. There are uh, 10 tomatoes uh, in the basket. And we have examples. There are some chairs in the kitchen, chairs, plural form. There are three armchairs in the living room. There are no flowers in the garden. No flowers, no plants, too sad, right? Okay, so this is the plural form and the singular form. In the platform, there is there are some there are there are some exercises in the platform about this. Did you finish them? Did you finish the exercises in the platform about there is and there are? Okay. Briseida yes, said. Yes, I finished today. Okay. And the negative form, we use not. There is not, and then a and and the object. There is not or there isn't a table in the kitchen. There is not a mirror in the bathroom. There is not an umbrella in the bedroom, for example. In the singular form, that is the negative. And in plural, there are plus not, there are not. And in negative form, we can use the expression any. Any is used only in negatives and questions, but in this case, negatives. Example, there are not any cushions on the sofas. Cushions, the cushions. You can put the cushion here on, the, on your head, on the back, cojines, cushions. Okay, there are not cushions on the sofas. There aren't any books on the table. There aren't any books on the table. So this is the plural form negative, the singular form negative. Now we have, again, uh, this is like a summary with there is and there are. There is only one thing and we use is. There is a boy, there is a book, there is an apple, there is a car, there is a woman, there is no a cell phone uh, in the kitchen. And there are for two or more things, and we use are because it's the plural form. There are two oranges, there are three people, there are five glasses, there are six women, 
There are four girls and we can use some. There are some tomatoes. There are some pupusas. There are some tamales. In negative, we use any. There aren't any tomatoes. There aren't any onions. Or there are no uh, flowers in the flower base. Okay? Oh, and now guys, we, it's time to practice. You are going to write some sentences about the things in your, in your house using there is and there are, there isn't and there aren't. For example, in my living room, there is a smart TV, there are some pictures, there is a sofa and there is an armchair. In my bathroom, there is an air conditioner <laughs> and there aren't any, let me see, there aren't any, what chairs? There aren't any chairs, okay? So can you please write a description of your house using there is and there, and there are in your, in the chat, please? And I will send you this exercise for you to do it. Okay, people, I'm waiting for your descriptions.
Okay, let's see. Oh, Carlos, would you like to share, Carlos, with the class, your description? Carlos, can you read your description, please? Sorry. Yes, um, in my living room, in, in my house, uh, for example, in my house and in my living room, there is a smart TV. There are two sofa and three armchair. Um, there is a shirt and a bookcase. In my bedroom, there is a bed. There are some pictures. There is a fan. There is a table, night. A night table. A night table. <laughs> and there are two chairs. Okay, Carlos, very good, thank you. Just be careful with the plural forms. The plural. Example, there are two sofas. Two it's sofas. Armchairs. In the final, I put the S, right? Yeah, you need to put the S. There are some pictures. Some pictures, ah, okay. Two chairs. Okay. The plural form. Elsa Noelia, you. would you like to read your description, Elsa? Okay. Mm. In my living room, there is a TV, there are some chairs, there is a sofa, and there is a calendar. There are some pictures, and in my bedroom, there is a bed, there is a mirror, there, there is a lamp, uh, there is a night table, and there is a rug. Yes, thank you, Elsa Noelia. Very good. Eriven, I like that in your description you include negatives. Okay, Eriberto, can you read your paragraph, please? But we don't hear you, mister. In my paragraphs, in my living room, there is a television. In our, um, our there is a table. Uh, there is a um, some. There is uh, there are some uh, chairs. Chairs, and and there is a picture. Um, there is a. Uh, two sofas uh, only. Okay, thank you, Roberto. Gabriel, Isaac? Yes. In my living room, uh, there is a fan and there are two windows and in my bedroom, there is a bed. Uh, there is a table. There is not and there aren't any books. Really? Okay, very nice. Thank you for sending, right? For sending your descriptions. Good, good, good. So guys, um, can you tell me what did you learn in this class? What did you learn in this class today? In my case is, um... Uh, vocabulary the in my house vocabulary for the house yes furniture vocabulary and also how to use there is there are and questions right yes no questions okay people it was a good class thank you for connecting and i hope to see you tomorrow okay if you didn't finish you can send the description in the whatsapp group you can send it in the okay. whatsapp Okay, thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.